Okay, so I'm about to go race crank skating. I won this race twice before, and uh, I'm gonna show you a secret on how you win an alley cat. It's all about saving time. It's all about being efficient. You, you know, you you have to be fast, but you don't have to be the fastest or the strongest. But you really have to know how to play the game really well. In crank skating. They make you take your shoes off and make a big shoe pile. And then, um, you know, you have to find your shoes. And there's pretty much is a, like a barefoot limon start to your shoes and you ground. Uh, I chose these because ones are like silver and, you know, and they kind of stand out from the crowd. Uh, you know, ideally, I might go to a shop and spray paint these like yellow or something. So I can see them right away. Another thing, the straps. Uh, these don't have little buckles and stuff like that. So pretty much you just throw your shoes on and then kind of like half ass put your shoes on and then you run to your bike. And that's when you're doing your bike, you start adjusting your, your shoes. Pretty, And then you start racing to the first grocery store. At first it'll give you a manifest and they will give you maybe 10 minutes to review the, the, the route. And then what I do is go on Google Maps and type in every address and put a star next to every address. That way I have a map of the city. And then that way I can just easily, you know, choose the, the fastest route and stick to the plan. Make a plan, stick to it. And uh, usually everyone will go kind of the same direction. Halfway through the race, maybe everyone's going to get all scattered. If you know the city, gray. Otherwise, just you know, look who's who's um, you know who's the favorite and stick with them. Uh, I usually I used to hate this because you know I would do all the work and map a good route and everything, and then I would start the race and pretty much uh, there would be a bunch of people just waiting to see what I would what my next move would be. You could win like that too, but then yeah, that's kind of like a shitty move. If you want to make friends. I don't recommend it. Uh, you're not gonna make friends that way. Uh, you can stick with someone, you can team up, and maybe someone can just go into the grocery store, pick up two things, two different seats, and then you know, and you just kind of play as a team. But usually, when you're playing by yourself and you stick to your own game, it's usually better. This is one I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna wear those shoes. Base layer, long sleeve jersey. It's gonna be kind of cold. Uh, usually something that you don't mind getting fucked up because, uh, you know, you're racing an alley cat. You might get hit by a car or something. Uh, bibs. All kind of warm stuff because it's actually kind of cold today. And this race will kind of go into the night a little bit. So it's better if you're warm. You know, you're going to be going in and out of grocery stores. You're going to be, you're going to get cold. Also, sling bag. Helps, helps a bit. Also, last but not least, some shorts with pockets. So you're gonna be carrying a lock, keys, your wallet, receipts, and a manifest. You need to have somewhere to put at least your lock in and out easily. If you're putting your lock in, in your bag or you know somewhere else, you're losing time. And time is everything. Efficiency is everything. A little simple bag to keep your shit dry, what's in your pocket, sweating, definitely a plus. You'll see, it'll make sense in a minute. Thank you for coming out, this is our 19th year, Thanksgiving. That's right. Thank you guys for uh, participating and helping out, donate back to our community. Um, as far as your manifest goes, there's 10 stores, you can do your manifest in any order. <clears throat> there's, uh, there's random items on the list also on your manifest. Pick an item, you have to have 10 items, 10 receipts. You, you can, can get more than 10 items. You can get more, uh, yeah, whatever's yeah. on the list you can buy, it doesn't really matter. But you have to have 10 different receipts from 10 different stores. So, um, <laughs> This is why oh, you Mark's spray paint your shoes. shoes off. That's, right. That's actually impressive.
All right, you guys, back it up. Let's go. Back. Okay. So, spoiler alert, I won. Um, I was actually pretty much the last one to start. So, we run to this, we run to our shoes, we grab our shoes and everything, and then uh, our manifests were waiting on our bikes. Uh, everyone pretty much grabbed their bikes and their manifests and took off. And me, uh, sat down and pretty much looked up my route. Um, sat down, took five minutes to go through the whole route, put uh, and uh, pretty much mapped it all out. And um, not mapped it all out, but I put um, pretty much the order I want to hit my checkpoints. And then every time we'll get to the grocery store and pretty much check where I'm going next and pretty much studying my next moves. So pretty much before before I'm done with that grocery store, I already know where I'm gonna go, what, uh, what things I'm getting, everything. So, um, planning is the most important thing. I am not in shape right now. I am not fit. I was racing against kids, like 19 year old kids, that all they do is ride every day and blow red lights like a bunch of maniacs. I don't think I blew a single, well, probably, probably there's a couple of legal things in the road, but whatever. I wasn't risking my life. We're here at the end of Crank Saving. We're waiting for second place. Second place now, huh? Waiting for second place. I got first, by the way. It's okay, there, me. There's always next year. Tell me, tell me about your race. I fucking got here. I was like 20 minutes. I had thought I won, and I got the wrong John. So I like put me 20 minutes. So now I'm second place from first. So fuck it. Good shit.